Lesson 1.7 Linear Equations in Two Variables So, what's the general equation of the linear equation? You may think y equal to ax plus b yeah, or y equal to mx plus b but this time I want to focus on y equal to ax plus b and then go back to this formula later Okay, so based on y equal to ax plus b, you know, we always call this is the slope and this is y intercept, right? However, maybe another equation for function form y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c this value a this is not the slope we just call coefficient even though c is still y intercept so now we want to know why in the first case y equal to ax plus b we just call a as slope but second case a cannot be slope instead of we just call it coefficient. It's because the y equal ax plus b form has a linear graph, right? And then for this case, somehow we have um, this kind of parabola graph here. In the linear function case, any point you choose and find their rate, it will be regular, which means uh, the rate is constant and exactly the same. But this parabola quadratic function case, if you choose maybe these two points, then there will be their slope. But if you choose these two points, then this is going to be their slope here. So as you see, this rate can be various. Therefore, we cannot say this rate is regular. So, we just call a s a s slope, but not this a is slope. We just call coefficient. Then now, if we keep on using a s slope, then it can be confused. Therefore, usually we write y equal to m s plus b, and then m indicate slope, B indicate y intercept. Therefore, from now on, whenever we're talking about slope intercept form, we always write y equal to mx plus b. So, whenever we're talking about linear function, the equation usually asks finding slope and y intercept. So, the first part we are going to talk about how to find the slope. So the given two points such as 6 and negative 5 and then 4 comma 1 then how to find the slope. Yes, we can use the formula m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then how to de determine x1, x2, y1, y2? So each order pair indicate the first value is x, second value is y. x and y here like that. Therefore, the first order pair we can say x1 and y1. The second order pair you can name x2, y2 like this. So now we need to substitute all those x1, y1, x2, y2 value into the each variable blank. Then it becomes 1 minus negative 5 over 4 minus 6. That's 1 plus 5 over negative 2, which is 6 over negative 2. Therefore, it becomes negative 3. That will be the answer for this question.
So look at one more question. Maybe this point. 13 over 2, comma 6. And 5 over 2, comma 2. Same thing. We will name this is x1, y1, x2, y2. Therefore, we can make m equal to 2 minus 6 over 5 over 2 minus 13 over 2. Then, this becomes negative 4 over negative 8 over 2 which means negative 4 over negative 4, so equal to 1, like that. Okay? Then now, maybe uh, using the given information, we want to find out equation of the line. So, one question is, the point 0 and negative 2 and m equal to 3 here. So regular way, so we usually do y equal to mx plus b and then complete this equation form. Now, do we know slope? Yes, we have 3 here, so you replace this into here. Then this become y equal to 3x plus b. And then plug 0 into x, negative 2 into y, then you can find b. So negative 2 equal to 3 times 0 plus b, therefore b equals negative 2, so complete equation become y equal to 3x minus 2. So up to now, we usually find the equation of the line this way, but from now on, we don't want to solve this one like this way. So, we will, instead we want to use point slope formula so point slope formula this formula is if you know m and the one point x1 comma y1 then we can find the equation of the line using this formula y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1 okay so from the previous question so we know slope equal to 3 and point 0 and negative 2 and then we want to solve this one using point slope formula again okay so this is going to be y minus negative 2 equal to 3 times x minus 0 so you know y i plug negative 2 here, 0 here, right? Because this is x value, x1, the y value, y1. That's the reason. Then this become y plus 2 equal to 3x. And then subtract 2, both sides, then become y equal to 3x minus 2. So as you see, we got exactly the same answer. Okay? So, do one more question maybe. <laughs> So the given point is negative 5 comma 3 and the m equal to negative 105. Okay. So we know slope and then one point. So we can apply point slope formula. So y minus 3 equal to negative 105 x minus negative 5. Then this become y minus 3 equals negative 105 x plus 5. Now we will distribute by slope with a parenthesis. Then this is going to be y minus 3 equal to negative 105 x minus because negative time positive becomes minus. Okay, so minus 105 times 5 so it becomes 1. Now isolate y alone, so plus 3 plus 3, then answer become y equals negative 105 x plus 2. That will be the answer for this problem.